News. First tonight, an update on the civil lawsuit a Portage Northern High School senior filed against the district for having graduation day on a Jewish holy day. Today, a state judge lifted the temporary restraining order asking Portage Public Schools to change the date. News 8's David Horak was in the courtroom and has more from today's ruling. Good evening. Today comes after a federal judge ordered to not have supplemental jurisdiction over this case. That means that there is both a state case and a federal case. Now, the one in state court in Kalamazoo's Ninth Circuit had a hearing on whether the temporary restraining order issued 12 days ago should be lifted. Thank you, Councils. Good afternoon to both of you. As well. Oral arguments from both attorneys began from the plaintiff's side. Marla Richelieu, representing Portage Northern senior Minalea Coffrin, who identifies as Jewish, told the court that graduation is covered under one of the two provisions of the Elliot Larson Civil Rights Act, requiring accommodations in public services. Here, despite having notice it should go up, this specific should go up since at least 2015. However, Mark Ostrowski, who represents the district superintendent and principal, argued that the reasonable accommodations for education only apply to events that directly impact school attendance or taking tests, and that rescheduling now would be detrimental to the families of other students. So this is not a case where they are asking for reasonable accommodations. They're asking for a dramatic change of events late in the game that's going to cause significant hardship to hundreds of people. Richelieu countered that the district and school leadership moved the goalposts and could have worked with Coffrin instead of fighting it out in court. It's either too early or it's too late. There's no process here. And they just want to blame an 18-year-old student instead of working with them. Why is there no other case law on this? Because schools normally work with their students. They care. This school district doesn't seem to care. In the end, the temporary restraining order asking the district to change the graduation date was lifted. Repeating a stance made by a federal judge, Circuit Court Judge Curtis Bell said there is no right that an individual has to attend graduation, and schools can schedule regardless of which holidays they may interfere with, but not before he had this to say. The court is in a, a very difficult position because I certainly uh, sympathize uh, with the uh, plaintiff in this case um, and uh, certainly respect her position and in, uh, in her religious beliefs and how she uh, wants to adhere to those and will adhere to those. Uh, but I also have to consider uh, the, uh, the individuals who are also students and how this would affect uh, their outcome uh, in terms of their ability in total to, to participate. The attorneys will meet again in June to work out details for the upcoming trial in state court. But the case in district court, that is still scheduled for April 20th, and that centers on the First Amendment in the U.S. Constitution. The district superintendent, principal, and their attorney declined our request for comment, but we did hear from the plaintiff's attorney. Her statement is over at woodtv.com. But for now, we're in our Kalamazoo studio. David Horak, News 8.